Hello, my name is David Johnston, and I'm president of the University of Waterloo. And it's my great pleasure to be with Raymond Laflamme today. Raymond is the director of our Institute for Quantum Computing. And we'll be talking about the exciting world of quantum computing, what is happening here at the University of Waterloo in that area, and the transformational gift of Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis to our Institute of Quantum Computing. So, Ray, let's begin with this uh, wonderful sum of money. IQC has received over $200 million in private and government funding in a relatively short period of time that you've been director of the Institute. What are you and your colleagues going to do with this uh, wonderful investment? What me and my colleagues are trying to do is really to excel, to reach for excellence, and excellence at the highest international level. And we're going to focus that excellence in three main directions. First, the research. So what we're trying to do is get the best brain of the world in that area to come here in Waterloo and work with us. The second one is to provide the resources to them so that they can achieve and do the, researches, uh, the research at which they are really good. The second element that we want is to really be able to bring the best graduate students to come and work at IQC. So th this is in some way some support of the research, but also in the field where we're working, it's a long-term area of research and it is really these students, if we train them to think about this quantum world, mm -hmm. then they will be able to take over and turn these ideas and concepts into devices and make this thing applicable to everybody. The last aim of the Institute for Quantum Computing is the ability of taking this knowledge, which is happening here in this building, here at the university, and bring it out so that it is not only focused within the academic community, but bring it to government, to industry and to the general public. We're actually sitting beside Instrumentation Ray, which has magnetic influence, so IQC will be a magnet for talent from around the world. And this is what we're looking for. Now, reverse that, Ray, what about the impact? The impact of the work done here at IQC, not simply in our local community, but Canada and the world. So it's always hard to kind of think about the exact impact of fundamental research that we're doing. Exactly. It the ability of looking forward in the crystal ball and say, what really is going to happen out of all this research? If we go back in history and we think about uh, 60 years ago, somebody called Charles Towns invented the laser. It was just curiosity driven. The ability of understanding of if we put light in some cavities in some certain way that you could kind of amplify this light and make it what it's called coherent. And suddenly today, lasers are everywhere from the grocery, yeah, check out from surgery to your CD player. So another example of this is nuclear magnetic resonance, where next to a magnet, we're using this property to invented or discovered at the end of the 40s by Block and Purcell. And they really wanted to know, can we go and measure the little magnet inside atoms? And today, it turned into MRIs, which are being used to um, analyze, understand the behavior of tissues and diagnostics, and also they are used to understand oils at the end of an uh, oil well. So this fundamental research with a goal of applying to technologies is what we're doing at IQC. We know some of the application of quantum information processing in the direction of making better and faster computers to the world of cryptography and private, private information, but really I'm sure that when we look in 30 or 40 years, we will look back and say we were very naive <laughs> in 2009 at the University of Waterloo of thinking of only these two applications. There'll be a lot more. Mm -hmm. And this is the exciting thing about this field. Ray, Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis' gift of over $100 million to the Institute for Quantum Computing is singular, yeah. unique, groundbreaking. Give us your thoughts on how that example impacts the funding of research in Canada and other philanthropic consequences? It is really changing the dynamics of how research is being done and funded in Canada. It's only this match between what kind of Mike and Ophelia can do teaming up with the university and various level of government allows us to do something which has not been done in Canada before. Really a concentration where we can get critical mass and really excel, and excel really at the top international level. 
I'm really thinking about competing with the MITs, the Harvards, the Caltechs of this world, so that here in Waterloo, we can have our part of this and kind of be known as the place where quantum information has flourished. This is clearly a transformational gift to the University of Waterloo in quantum computing. Can you just comment a little more practically on how transformational gifts of this kind make a difference in a university and how does one define transformational consequences? I think what this donation gives is inspire people. Because when we start at ground zero, people say, can we do this? Can we make this happen? And suddenly we see, yes, there are people with vision who can suddenly come and they have been incredibly lucky to have an amount of resources where they can afford making a gift like this. But this gift is really towards knowledge, towards community building, towards making us a whole. It really goes to the fabric. It's, I'm thinking about this is weaving the, the fabric of our local community and bring it to a highest level. And this is what is important. This inspiration of Mike and Ophelia is also not only through the donation they've given, the financial donation, but also the time that they give to the community. It makes all of us think, yes, if we all add up a little bit here, a little bit there, then suddenly this whole becomes together and we can achieve things that would be impossible to achieve without this. Last question, Ray, when you we're starting into Laval University in Quebec City way back at age 17 or 18. Did you ever dream that you'd be sitting here today investigating quantum computing and commenting on how it's going to transform our world? Certainly not. I dream of learning new things, but like I, as a 17 or 18, 18 years old, I never thought about what would I do when I'm 40 or 45 or 50. I was really inspired by local teachers by family aspirations, but never thought that suddenly I would go to Cambridge, England and work with Stephen Hawking to go and work at Los Alamos National Lab. And while I was there, I, I never thought that I would come back to Canada and suddenly I'm here, mainly because people have inspired me. And I hope that I can inspire other people to come here to Waterloo. A lovely note on which to end our discussion, uh, Ray. Cherish our teachers. Uh, they inspire us, and each of us, of course, has been so greatly influenced by wonderful teachers along the way. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.